<laughs> and you can watch the fan right now at kfan.com slash watch. Power Hour weekdays at 8 a.m. And it's powered by Quantum Fiber. Your world unleashed. Man, thankfully my world's finally unleashed. Hold on. Are we on the camera right now, Zeko? Can you see us? How do we look? I mean, you be the judge. Yeah, Max looks good. You be the judge. Yeah. That didn't sound yeah, like... Yeah, that's no, that. really good. You guys look great. No, I, yeah, I like I mean, it. I'm all yeah. you guys. But I, you're just sitting over here going, yeah, you guys call it. I don't know. I don't want to say anything mean. That's what um, it really felt like. You don't think we're having a good day? Uh, Max, quit whipping that thing around on camera. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. see, it's, now it's, that's the, it's the stream. That's, yeah. you know, that's, that's, that's going to get viewers in, you know? Yeah, it's about yeah. the stream. Driving yeah. up the ladies there, man. Good yeah. job. Hey, nice um, helicopter. Um, real quick, uh, I'm looking at some uh, brand new technology equipment things that you guys are going to wish you had. And there's only two that I found fascinating. Mm. But check this out. I can't believe nobody ever thought of this. Um, rechargeable emergency LED light bulbs for when the power goes out. Like, Oh, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. That's yeah, what we were just yeah, saying. We're like, why didn't no one ever think of this? Yeah. So you always have a light bulb. It's always going to be on. I know it's sort of like a flashlight, but it's a light bulb. It's a literal, literal light bulb moment. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Rechargeable emergency LED bulb. If you're looking to buy one of those, they're only uh, $17.99 for a package. I think they're like four in a package. But here's the other one. And Corey, I want to know. I mean, you're a brave son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> mm-hmm. but are you brave enough to just go with this thing? A, and you can look it up, shark bands with a Z, shark bands, magnetic shark repeller. I don't believe it. <laughs> For some peace of mind when you're out in the ocean. That's right. Shark bands reduce the risk of a shark encounter, but do not eliminate the risk altogether. Of course okay? not. Yep. That Can't said, that the effectiveness of this band was tested by the Western Australian government and verified by an independent third party university. Think about that one guy that are like, okay, oh, yeah. you're going to jump in the tank here. Yeah. Here's this wristband. <laughs> Here's <the> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are we in favor of using monkeys to test these or not? You guys let me know. <laughs> I'm not saying I am. I'm wondering if you guys are. Right. Uh, uh, I'm sure there's science behind it. Yeah. And, and it's it's some kind of what? Magnet or polarization or electricity or something that uh, that a shark doesn't like. Yeah. But it's like uh, when, it is magnetization. You're exactly right. Yeah. It's like yeah. when when Rosie's daughter goes shark uh, swimming with sharks, right. and Rosie's like, "It's fine. It's safe. You're more likely to be killed by a vending machine." It's like Rosie, you're you're missing the point, buddy. Yeah, vending machines don't have teeth. Is it true? You get in there then without these shark bands and see what happens. Is it true, Corey, that even though we live in Minnesota and you don't plan on going to the ocean anytime soon, you're going to wear one of these every day just in case? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, land shark. Right? Yeah, right. I don't know, I mean, man. Pretty maybe. interesting. I Better never thought safe. about it before, but th- this company, this is their whole mission, mm-hmm. is to make it uh, safe to uh, go swimming in the ocean. And well, isn't that the shark thing? It's uh, like the sensitivity that they have in their nose itself. Is that, and that's how it's like they, an electric sensor. Yeah, yeah. 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 No yeah. kidding. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. that's why they won't go around. They're only 128 bucks, and they might keep you from getting well, eaten. I like the concept. It's like a reverse shock collar for a dog. Yeah. It's like an invisible fence for a shark. Just yeah. they don't know that the entire... Ocean is their playground, except for the five feet around you. But what if like there's the idea? I hope it works. Just stay with me on this core. What if there's one shark who that's the only way he can get a hundred percent? He just likes. <laughs> oh, that's his shark. Shark. That's his. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's actually drawing him to you. Yeah. And not only do you get eaten, you yeah. also get yeah. sexed up. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, didn't these sharks watch the first Jurassic Park? What did those raptors do? They tested the fence. Clever mm. girl. They looked for weaknesses, and yeah. then they attacked. So at some point, sure, maybe I'm. You know, doing like what, what like treading water <laughs> yeah, in the middle of the treading. ocean and, and great white sharks are swimming right by me. And I'm like, you know, giving them the middle finger. Get out of here. <laughs> but all they're doing is just testing for weakness. Yeah. And eventually yeah. they're going to get the balls. To, I don't know. It feels like me whole. one arm is mm. going to be washed up on the shore. And still wearing that band. <laughs> yep. That's it. <laughs> so, so you know, it's going to happen. Though. It was delicious. <laughs> and, all, and this happens all the time. The, all the there's going to be an unintended consequence. You're gonna somehow attract like jellyfish or some, yeah. some yeah. something yeah. like right. that. You're gonna be they on love like, it. Yeah. yeah, jellyfish are just gonna love this thing. It's They're gonna just gonna be think attracted. it's a rave or something. Oh yeah, you're just gonna what have if, a friend to pee on you. That's all. Full circle. If you've been listening to the entire Power Trip Morning Show, what if those uh, fish in Florida that are spinning? Yeah. are because the magnets in Australia. Yeah. yeah, driving them crazy. Just driving them nuts from yeah. the other side of the world. It tingles, Get those it magnets it out of the ocean, yeah. you right. idiots. But I will say, if I was if I was a surfer, I absolutely would get one right underneath my board. 
I yeah, just stick I, one of those suckers yeah. right in. I just board. cannot yeah, imagine not? all those surfers. Whenever they're interviewed, they all say they have a quote encounter. Right, all they, of them. All, all of them, them, them say, "Yeah, yeah. we yeah. see shadows all the time. We don't think twice." Or I've seen fans. Or I've seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you ever mentally get back out there if you know a great white shark swam right underneath you? Uh, so I, I will take no it a step further. Thanks. So the the time that I live in San Diego, I mean, uh, so many people, you know, half the people will surf or have surfed or like surf at the, you know, that's like their pastime. I had a couple neighbors that would get up in the morning. They'd do that whole thing. They'd go like they're in the ocean at 6 a.m. before work, right? And I'm like, I bring up the same thing. That's actually the reason they do it. It's one of the reasons, like, it's like a, it's like a hunter going out and they're like, you know what? I, I love shooting the deer. I love all that stuff, but I actually love getting in my tree stand at four 30 in the morning and just taking in nature. They love being out there and knowing and seeing all the wildlife. Hmm. They see dolphins, they see sharks, they see, I'm like, dolphins, aren't you, sure. aren't you, Turtles, aren't you sure. scared though? Whales, like, sure. Sharks, no. But they just there's something about when you grow up in the water. They're like, yeah. we're not scared of it. Mm. Well, they should be. I, I'm with Amen. you. Yeah. I'm with you. It's interesting though. I mean, I, I can see the beauty of it, but man, I don't know. I guess I'd have to learn to swim. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to overcome the fear of sharks when you're overcoming the fear of drowning. <laughs> Oh no! So I guess that's a long-winded way of saying I would hope that the technology advances to the point where we can all wear them. Yeah, that'd be cool. But N- no maybe big. entire like wetsuits yep. should just be giant magnets. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Not just little buddy bands hey, they could stay by that, the bell. Um, you guys ever in real life seen one of those magnets that look like the ones in cartoons? The yeah, like the, the horseshoe ones. ones. Like the horseshoe oh, yeah. ones? Yeah, no, I've never seen I'm an actual one. I don't know if I've ever seen one in person. They're always gigantic like in, in the cartoons. Too. I feel like in school I did when I was a kid. I'm going to look at like a Like when horse. you're doing a psych science tests and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I think, I, I believe I always so. I feel like they're I've, like little like rectangular blocks. Right, yeah, and then you're watching them, like, yeah. you know, not magnetized towards each yeah. other because you got the negative and positive bit. But Yeah, they're called horseshoe magnets. I'm looking at them, but I've never seen one in real life. Until now, but I guess I'm not seeing in real life. This could be AI, mm-hmm. but, and this I might be in the Matrix too. So none of this. Man, God. this entire show has been full circle. It might, it might We're be. learning. I've, I've seen like the uh, the ones that look like a hockey puck, and then they'll oh, sure. drop those down in a in a fishing hole. Yeah, oh, right. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. So like, if you drop something in there, they can you know. Yeah, yeah those are cool. But, yeah, I like that. That's the fun. most famous one is the Polaris mine. If you know, you know. Mm. Corey, never heard of it. Back your brain. Really? Mm-hmm. Polaris mine? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Don't, uh, we'll look it up during the break. I'm, yeah. I'm intrigued. It was, it was built in a prison. Yeah, um, that's know. probably the most famous hmm. for those who know. It's hmm. time for Fan to 5, that brought, brought to you by Builders and Remodelers. Thank you, Builders and Remodelers. Polaris. All right, let's see here. Uh, enough of that, enough of that. Say it one more time. Polaris what? I believe it's called the Polaris Mine. Yep. That's what uh, Wikipedia says. Mm-hmm. Uh, former uh, little Cornwalls, Canadian territory. No, that's not it. Oh, really? No. Hmm. New Polaris Gold Mine. Public invited to participate in the upcoming mm-hmm. public comment on the Polaris Gold Mine. I, be- I believe I'm I'm 99% sure I'm saying it correctly. Um, you guys just have to figure it out. It's a little puzzle. I like little, little puzzles. Puzzle. I can't find I can't find anything that you're this alluding to. My head. Yeah, because there is a Polaris I mine it was from in northern F- Canada. Flurgendor Prison. Can you type in Flurgendor Prison? So this has got to be a TV thing. Flurgendor. Flurgendor. <laughs> you're making this up. I am not top making this up. <laughs> it is a little top secret. For those who know, it was it was it was a top secret operation. Yes, is cryptocurrency right. related. Is this, a, is this a, a Florida thing? It was not a. It's not a Florida thing. Is it in line? I love that you guys are are working so hard to figure this out. Zach, follow Zach's lead. Zach, you're in the you're in the front of the line. It's got to be a television Mm. or movie thing. Is it from Top Secret? Yes, the movie Top Secret. Got it. Okay. Great popcorn. Never saw it. Get out of here. Never saw it. No. I thought for sure you have seen. No hockey. And I love Val Kilmer, but it's been a million years ago. Yeah. See, I feel like hockey. This would be something that you have wa- you would have watched thirty times. Oh, it, I'm sure that I did. If I am I remembering this right, the uh, the poster of it was a cow on the. That's very, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. They had to climb inside this fake cow. You know, to blend in. <laughs> in Flurgen for what? 
Flergendor Prison. Hmm. I don't know if you can say that on the radio. I think you can, and I just did. <laughs> There's Come a, at me, SCC. Yeah, there's an actual Polaris mine the in SEC? northern Canada. SCC? Oh. <laughs> Alabama? <laughs> My brother. <laughs> I'm talking smack to the Crimson Tide. Yeah. <laughs> or at least was. Hmm. Roger Ebert, three and a half out of four stars. You should go see it. Hey. Yeah, go see it. Weird Al says it's his favorite movie of all time. Man, I I don't think... I maybe saw it when it was brand new, and I don't think I've seen it since. Uh, Well, then, look, I had to watch Human Centipede, you sick bastard. Oh, my God. Uh, No, the second one's We had to watch Cats. The the second Human Centipede is is way worse. I will give you guys all a uh, a movie homework assignment to watch Top Secret with Hmm. Val Kilmer. Oh. I love Val Kilmer. Uh, Headlines, we come back. Final Four, by the way, since we didn't get to Final Four, is NC State, Purdue, Alabama, and UConn. That's Saturday, and the national title game is a week from now. Wolves lost. Twins got shelled. That pretty much sums it up. Uh, Headlines after this. Power to Morning Show on The Fan. The Fan. The electric rock duo 21 Pilots are headed back to Minnesota. Catch them October 12th as they bring the Clancy World Tour to Target Center. Tickets go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. And you can find out more info at KFA.com keyword calendar. But caller 11 right now will skip the line and win a pair of tickets. 1-800-320-5326. Good luck. You ready to hear it, baby? Oh, you lucky person. What, you're not going to go? No, I'm just not going to win the tickets. Oh, well, that's no attitude. Well, should I get on the phone? Uh, what was that word again? What? what? 1-800-320-5326. What are you going to do on the phone? Get on the phone? Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's like. Hey, you know, one thing in sports we uh, didn't discuss, because it does feel like it was nine weeks ago, even though it was over the weekend. How about A-Rod and Mark Laurie and Glenn Taylor basically MFing each other all weekend long? That's the best. So good. I love it. Glenn so in the uh, very Minnesota passive aggressive way, a rod a little bit more direct. Those two are just saying, "No, we're getting this team. You can't stop us. We're going to take your ass to court." And Glenn's just like, "You guys can still be owners with me." You it's simultaneously a boring story and an amazing story because the it's boring amazing. part is it's going to take forever. It's just going to be you know some arbitrator in a. <laughs> You know, stuffy room that's going to decide this. Yeah, it's going to be the fun stuff is the the right. media battle. But and it's going to be a year from back. now where yeah. we're like, oh wait, that's right. Oh, that's right. They were upset about. But that. somebody's going to look like an idiot here. But it's also the, it is exactly like the HBO uh, series Succession. There's no winner here. It's just a couple of losers. I don't have. There's. It's who do you hate the least. Right. Right. It's not like, oh, it's one good side and one bad side. Glenn sucks. A Rod and Mark Laurie suck. They both suck. They both blew this. It's it's like cheering for Roman or Shiv. If Who the team wasn't playing well though, do you think that this would not be a, a That's big part issue? of the that's part of the point. Is right. Glenn would just be moving on, but he's being petty and dumb. He admitted as such, which will probably not help him in the court proceedings yep. if there are. Because that basically shows intent, like I definitely am trying yeah, to sabotage, sabotage this deal. Yeah. Yep. So, but have fun. So, this is where I, I kind of lost track over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Doesn't it sound like when you just look at the nuts and bolts of this thing that, that Lori and Rodriguez, they had ample amount of time to secure lending or secure the funds, get it approved by the NBA, and they failed to do that. And then they failed to sign an extension to get said you know, another another capital investment to to jump in, which a second one did at the eleventh hour, but then they didn't sign the extension. So, like, they had opportunities to continue this deal and get the deal done. Why did? Why? Well, why? They're, they're why claiming is, over the weekend that they did that they met all the requirements. What, whether or not they did is that's for the lawyers to decide, right? Because they're saying, yeah, well, we clearly we they did everything. If the first investment firm, that's not very clear at this point, right? Right. <laughs> According Taylor's to what they're saying, saying, Taylor's saying he hasn't talked to Lori in like a year, right? Yeah, and then, then Mark Laurie and A Rod are saying that they had the proper funds and they were waiting for the NBA to approve it. And then right. when you're waiting for NBA approval, you're supposed to get a 30 day extension. But then Glenn Taylor is saying that they didn't meet the previous deadline, so that extension only happens if you meet the previous deadline. So and that's how, a lot of he said, she said. And how about over the last couple of weeks? Right, uh, uh, there was the the story that leaked out that you know that Glenn said his relationship with A Rod and Mark Laurie over the last year or two has deteriorated. Well, who cares? 
Yeah, who cares? It's, it's either in the contract or it's not. I don't care if you guys hate each other. If they did everything they're supposed to do, it's their team now. Yeah, you're not tra- you're not trying to be best friends. Exactly. Well, I don't know if I like him as much now. Too bad. You signed a deal, you dummy. And that's what, I mean, this whole thing started out with this the, the press conference a couple of years ago where he was talking about how he brought him over for dinner and, you know, they, they met on a personal level and that's, he felt really good about this deal. So clearly for Glenn, it's, for whatever reason, this is more than just business with him, and I don't know. Uh, it's 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 a fascinating story. Let's just can we just let him on the line. sell the team? Yes. Go buy a farm somewhere like in Delano and just roast chickens alive to yourself yeah, do for what the rest you love, of your life. Man, you know what? Think about how many more chickens he could roast. You get so as many as he wants. He has billions of dollars. Yeah. If he gets one point five billion, that's not all his, but it's right. a lot of. You could buy. So many deep fryers. Yeah, mm-hmm. you could buy. You could invent new ways to roast uh, chickens a lot. Hundred percent. You could turn it into like American Gladiators, where like the chickens right. would have to run obstacle courses, but at the end, then they jump in to a deep fryer right. while they're still alive, right. and you could just sit. That you could put like the nicest theater seating you can possibly imagine, and just bring your friends over and watch them all just die right in front of you. You could get like an underground under the fryer seat. So you can watch them jump into the fryer. Oh, like at the zoo? I right. Like when you see a polar bear right. swimming. Dude, I, I love that. <laughs> Billionaires can afford that? Yes. Underwater deep frying viewing. Like ben, portals. are you in on this? Am I in on this from what level? Just, Just watching? Just burn the chickens. Yeah, do you want I mean, to go I'm over not, to Glenn's I'm not, farm? I'm not for, you know, what he's accused of doing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, but, he himself didn't do it. Well, we don't know that. Sure. Again, don't know Mark Lorian okay. and Aaron yeah, said that he did. can't be so sure. Can't be so sure. Okay. I'm not really following along with you guys say, but it sounds like you want to talk about like, look, if you want to have me over for some chicken wings, I'm all for it. Yeah, you were a meat sauce listening right there. I was I, meat sauce because yeah. I because I, I don't. I zoned yeah, out you too. Out. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, look, I don't know all the protesting stuff. I know it's kind of a big deal. I know we kind of got in trouble, but you know, you guys are like talking about glass bottom cauldrons, and people are like Ooh. basically. Yeah, no. yeah, that's Last a whole bottom cauldron. That's a, yeah, that's that's a whole a, other thing. Like, it's a great I don't know if I want to pay money to see that, but look, if it's going to happen and there's going to be a big roast and there's going to be free food, then you got me. Okay. Well, there's going to be free food. I mean, it'll take a little while. They got to yeah pick the feathers out, but it'll be great. Well, that's the other thing. Are you guys going to defeather them while they're alive? So no. Then you can- Oh, no. Wow. Okay. Oh, so how right. so Quick how answer. often are you roasting well, how, how chickens you know with Glenn, the feathers on? I'm with you, Ben. How do you know Glenn Taylor Zach doesn't want them to feel pain before he roasts them alive? Who's Maybe he Taylor does defeather each one of them as graphically and as violently as possible. I think we can end the scene. I stand and, corrected. And scene. And yeah. I'm still upset with Glenn Taylor for actually crashing my uh, scooter. Back what? in the day. Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this actually happened. Please do tell. We, I was working in Mankato mm-hmm. and uh, go down to the Circle Inn, North Mankato. Great little hole in the wall bar. And it was like the good old boys all getting together. So a bunch of people that owned stuff in town. And for whatever reason, they invited me. So I was driving around and, uh, and it was a jazz little uh, scooter. And uh, so I drove that down to go and meet up with these guys. And so we're just telling jokes and the whole works. And then they started making fun of me because I was driving a scooter. But then all of a sudden, they all wanted to go out and ride Ride around in the the parking lot. Glenn Taylor took it out. And then that parking lot is concrete or not concrete paved and then gravel. And uh, he took it out too far and dumped it. Dumped my scooter. Great story. He crashed? Yes. Did he hurt himself? No. Did he swerve to miss a chicken and that's where it all started? He, he, no, he, I, I ran over there and I grabbed my scooter. I'm like, what'd you do to my hog, man? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll repair anything. That's, I'm like, no, 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 no. Just walk away. Wow. Get away from my scooter. Was it damaged, though? Yeah, like, Can I ask you a question? You scuffed up your scooter. Yeah. You scuffed my scooter, You could have gotten a whole brand new one if yeah. you had a reason yeah. enough of a fuss. No, no, no. It was May a, I uh, ask you a should have asked for equity. No, no, no. May was, I ask a question, please? Yes, please. I, I think this is important. <laughs> uh, so you'd been drinking? Me? Yeah. No. Uh, percent chance that was actually Glenn Taylor. It was Glenn Taylor. It was a different Glenn get, Taylor, no, wasn't no, it? It no. was a guy named Glenn. No, no, His no. last name was Taylor. Oh, he's he's a, absolutely. He's okay. a big man Cato guy. I yeah. understand that, but yes. there's no chance. Had that a fun weekend. Uh, he crashed a scooter and didn't die. Uh, no. He was already 102. A parking lot on a scooter that at max speed could go 40. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, hang on. He's not going to die doing Be- that. Before right. he got on the scooter, did yes. he have a chicken in one hand and a flamethrower in the other? <laughs> right. That might have been the biggest mm, part that's of That's why he couldn't yeah, steer. I forgot that Got part. it, because yeah. then that was definitely Glenn. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because then he's just ghost riding at that point. Yeah. Yeah. He was ghost riding his crib. So we I'm pretty it. convinced that was Glenn Taylor, the farmer, and you were drunk. No, no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You were smashed. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling, what? Okay. I'm telling you the absolute truth. As far as you remember it. So Glenn Taylor got off his own scooter to ride your scooter. No, 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 no. He didn't have a scooter. He had a rascal. 100% he had a rascal. Yeah, he had that no. rascal. <laughs> yeah. he, with the basket he, in front? He, he, <laughs> rolled, he rolled in on a, a rascal with a basket. <laughs> right, right. Got well, off of that rascal to ride your scooter. He That's did not, pull the governor on that. that rascal so he could go faster. But yeah, <laughs> yeah we've all got to pull the governor around again. You should have offered to sell oh, your right, scooter to him. And then right before he actually uh, jumped on, I just said, uh, you've changed your mind because uh, your relationship with him is deteriorated. I was just so pissed off that he actually... He scuffed it. He did. Yeah, yeah. I get it. He laid it down on the, on the, on the gravel. Oh, thanks, Rat. And you just let him go. You could have... You could have done something, man. You could have gotten oh, something went, out of that. Oh, He's went 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 a very wealthy man. I went got my scooter and I drove home. Did what we, not, I was all we ended the scene, I thought. Oh, I thought we did. Oh, yeah, we did yeah. end the scene. Yeah, oh, we yeah. Got scene. Sorry about that. Yeah, what is it? So okay. then, uh, one final question from us since you saw this firsthand. What is he worse at? Owning an NBA team or scooting? Right. So scooting for mm. sure. Or raising It's not chicken. for sure. It's, well, yeah. It's not. It's closer than you think. Let's do a headline, shall we? I would love it if we did. Interesting. Hey. Now it's time for Headlines. Headlines brought to you by our friends at Wolf River Electric. You can go solar. Solar. With Wolf River Electric. Get those panels. Right? Wolf River can walk you through it start to finish. Okay. Um... Chris, this is something you're going to understand more than the rest of us okay. because you like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Love immensely. It. Great show. Great show. Uh, a Reddit debate broke out and there were a bunch of votes. And basically they determined that Danny DeVito coming out of a leather couch naked yeah. on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is the greatest nude scene of all time. Hilarious. <laughs> Fantastic. He was drenched in sweat. Oh, God. Super good. Great. Just great. Okay, how do you feel about this, though? Okay. Because I assume people that are voting for that are somewhat sarcastically voting for that sure. being the greatest, sure, sure. quote, nude sure. scene of all time. Okay. Because the one that got second is Alexandria Daddario on True Detective. That is oh, something. I still haven't seen that yet. That's, oh, boy. I'm going yeah, to yeah. yeah. quote Rudy's dad. That is the greatest thing these eyes have ever seen. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just not fair is what it is. It's it unbelievable. It really isn't. Um, so Alexandria Daddario, True Detective number two, and then the ones that uh, followed her, again, get in line, jeez, uh, the gal with three boobs in Total Recall. Never forget it. Uh, oh, yeah, Heather Graham is, changer. Heather yeah. Graham is Roller, Roller Girl in Boogie Nights. Oh. Uh, Phoebe Cates coming out of the pool in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Yeah, that's, yeah. uh, yeah. That's uh, Denise Richards and Nev Campbell's Threesome uh, and Wild Things. Wild Things. Uh, you're just, this is all my childhood. The shower scene in Starship Troopers. I wasn't even that old, but still my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Nicole Kidman kicking off her dress and eyes wide shut. Oh. That was the thing about the future that pisses me off. Because in that movie about the giant bugs. Were Starship the late, Troopers. Starship Troopers. All the dudes and girls were all showering together. And I thought by now we'd have advanced enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can our wash society. our hands together in a bathroom. Yeah, yeah. we haven't even gotten there. <laughs> Man. There's a lie. The whole, my, my old hopes for the future. Gone. It still might happen. I still go into women's showers just to find out if everybody's cool yet, and they say no. Well, we're not there yet. I know. It was further in the future. <laughs> uh, BuzzFeed put out a list of the 20 worst songs of the 1990s, and man, could I not disagree more with Oh, this yeah. I, I, hate these li- I hate these lists, because uh, I'm like, I love that song. Yep. Uh, we'll go 10 to 1 quickly. These are the 10 worst songs of the 90s, according to BuzzFeed. Number 10, You're Still the One by Shania Twain. Oh, Great oh, I song. Almost swore. I almost swore. Come on. Oh. That is a banger. Number oh. nine, Right Said Fred's I'm Too Sexy. Oh, great that's song. Yeah, good. that, that it has is, its place. That's an earworm right there. Yeah. Number eight is Hanson's Mbop. Ugh. Yeah, that one gets that, yeah. that, that one hurts. Yeah, that hurts you. That should be higher than the list. Number seven is Los Del Rio Macarena. I can't stand that. I hate that that song one too. makes me want to pee pee. Even in Mexico, you're still like, oh, I don't like this. Yeah. Finally, they got one right. Number six, Creed. 
grades higher. Now, how dare you say that? That is a great well, song. That invalidates yeah, this entire it list. That, it's one of the best fact, songs of all time. Whoever made the list should quit. Yeah. Number five is Baja Men, Who Let the Dogs Out. Jump Off yep. the Bridge. Yep. Yep. Number like four, Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah, yep. Yep. I'm ruined his career. I, I'm liking this list more than I thought. Number ruined his career. Three. He didn't have a career before that. Before no, that, he did. No, he, honestly, nobody his, cared about Billy Ray before Achy Breaky. His music Achy was so, be- so much better than... Then Achy Breaky, he didn't want to do it, and then he did it, and it made him huge as a star, but it ruined his career. Oh. He had to wait till his daughter got, like, talented. Oh. Crash Test Dummies, number uh, three. Okay. Uh, no, 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 that's, that where I, that's where I fall off you this list. You love that song? I, I love that whole album. Wow. Oh, it's boy. one of the best yeah, albums yeah. ever. Uh, Lou Bega, Mambo number five, is the second worst Aww. song of the 90s. Yeah. How's that go? That's that fun. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, thanks for the Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's thanks, good. Count. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank uh, you. There's some Sesame bars Street. right there. And more proof that BuzzFeed has terrible, terrible, terrible taste in music. And more proof that uh, Brian Oak was completely missing it because he said he didn't know that Limp Bizkit covered Faith. Remember that? Brian Oaks like, didn't know they did that. Yeah, I, I don't I know how either. you missed yeah, that. that. That is an awful song. I, 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 <sighs> Boy. That is an awful song. Is this Bizarro Universe? What? Yeah. So, the yeah. Limp Biscuit like, version I'll, I'll, or the original? Or both. Both? I, the, you don't like the original yeah. Faith either? No, the original Faith is fine. Okay. Yeah, the Limp Biscuit version is awful. Hmm. Okay. As much as I did not look forward to this list, and I and they got it wrong with Crash Test Dummies. And higher. The, yeah, this higher, list yeah, is pretty cream, pretty yeah. accurate. It's pretty good. Mm. You could shuffle around the top ten, but they all should be on the list. Mm. I like most of them, but I was a child of the '90s. I just I I liked bad pop in the '90s too. Mambo number five, really. I mean, like tab. <laughs> I, I never really did like Tab. Do you guys like Tab? Hell no. Oh, the original I didn't like Tab guys, was It's eight forty. I gotta go. Oh, bye, dear, my gosh, you guys. Goodbye, like man. Bolt, you're man. having so much fun. Oh, gosh. I, I know like this time flies when you're having so much fun, you guys. I love you. I'll see you at Thor's Day. Tell Bye. everybody over there I said hi and that I, I love will. them and I miss them. Oh, I'll be, I'll be live at the auto show today. Oh, dude, I love the auto, auto show. show. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. You got to awesome. go to the auto show. You got to go to the auto show. Get those mini donuts. Yeah, we'll do. So if you're there, I'll see you there. Remember when you uh, went to the auto show, Corey, and you had to go to the bathroom? Yeah, Yeah, pissed blood. Pissed blood, man. It was hilarious. Hit with the baseball or what? (laughs) No, no, no. Kidney stones. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You got hit with the internal baseball. We thought he was dying. Okay, bye. See ya. Love you. Bye, man. Bye. That was a weird day. Again, uh, we were joking about it on the air that I was peeing blood. And then wasn't it one of the security guys that just came up to me? He's like, that's not funny, dude. You got to go to the hospital. Yeah. But then yeah. I go, are you serious? He's like, yeah, you're peeing blood. What are you, dumb? I'm like, you're right. Yeah. So Son wait, was your peeing blood, your first thought wasn't, I should get this checked? That's why he thought I was dumb. He's like, you need to go to the doctor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I was being a total dude, just going like, whatever, it'll pass. You waited till after the show, right? It 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When at like 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, the you know, ER. Or- uh, with urgent care yeah. or something. And they were like, oh, yeah. you probably have kidney stones. And then that's when she told me, yeah, you're going to have to go get tested. And I'm like, well, what kind of test is this? And then that was the penis cam. Go. The penis cam. Oh. The worst day of my life. Oh. Penis cam. It's is, yeah. no, uh, as Chris, bad as it sounds. Yeah. Th- th- no, it's worse. And that's what Chris told me. It was the worst thing you're ever going to experience. And I'm like, he's got to be setting the bar too high. And then I experienced and said, he didn't. Sell it high. He yeah. undersold right, sure how did. awful yeah. it is. Well, it's you, you've the been worst. swabbed before, right? I mean, it's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> it is. It's pressure. It's pain, and it's a burning sensation all at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And oh. there's a man yeah. looking inside your penis. <laughs> 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 and that dumb son of a bitch wants to know if you want to take yeah. a pee. Yeah, he did go, ask. No, yeah. I'm not Just doing this. Get it out of there. I'm not doing this. And then they oh. say. God, DNR. They say to you, you're going to feel like you have to urinate. Please don't. Yep. And I look like the Bellagio Fountains. Man. I Oof. peed all over that gentleman. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have been standing there. Oh, so God, just to clarify, if anybody ever tells you it's not that bad, they are lying to you. It's the worst. Did you have to carry around the, the strainer and all that? Because no, for no. whatever reason, I, I don't understand that whole bit where you have to, you know, you pee in the strainer. Mm-hmm. So that way you can collect the stone. What for? What reason? What just to know it came out right? Maybe. Well, 
But you'll know it came out. You don't need to well, keep it. It depends or bring on what it size to the it is. Doctor and say, okay, I, what's this? It's a kidney stone. It does depend on how big the stone is because I never felt the actual stones pass because mine were small enough where it wasn't going to be a, 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 a. So you didn't even need the cam. Nope. Hmm. Ended up, but they're 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 looking to see if you need to have them. I'll take the laser rest. removed. Yeah, they can right. Uh, right. So they told me after the cam, I think you're going to be okay, and they eventually just pass, and I didn't even feel it, so I didn't have the pain coming out. But when you, to Chris's point, when they say, "Hey, when you, we pull this camera out, you're going to have the uh, the urgency to pee," but please don't. He he's not kidding. It's like the the most intense, like. I, you know how when six year olds like I have to go, yeah. And you're like we're we're seven miles from a gas station. You can hold it, and like you can't hold it. That's what this is like times a thousand. This the doctor's office that I was at to have that procedure. The, the closest bathroom was it was in an office building. It was down the hall, so I left the 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 doctor's office, went down the hall, and they're like, just come back when you're done. I get down, I'm peeing fire, right <laughs> in a public now technically a public bathroom. Trying not to scream like this, right? Because that's what it feels like. Then I get halfway back down the hallway, and I'm gin- walking as gingerly as a human being can possibly walk. I got halfway back. I go, I think I have to pee again. You got dang right. So I went back, did it again. Same thing. I'm like, there can't be any pee left. I got out of the parking lot about a block and stopped. And I'm like, am I going to have to turn around, park? And go back in again. You, it's the worst about three days you can go through. It just sucks. Three yeah. days? Yeah, because right for now. about three oh. days, every time you pee, you pee fire. It's, uh, oh, you might have to Oh, It's the worst. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be something else to this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we might have gone to the wrong doctor. Yeah, you might have. I don't think so. I don't think that have, was a doctor. <laughs> they might not have cleaned your scope. <laughs> I might have been in before you, and they might not have cleaned the scope. Because uh, you shouldn't have burned for that long. <laughs> Uh, man, I, I kid you not. And must the thing that I uh, that I have to I'm say. I'm like a as well, frightened turtle right now because that's, that's, well. that's oh, what my 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 Janssen yep. looked like. Because yep. when I didn't know going in that that's what was going to happen. Go, oh, oh no! And so when he you said, "Here's what's going to happen," of course, to prep me, they send in about a 22 year old blonde. Um, Lucky. No. Nope. No, yeah. because guess who was afraid? <laughs> <laughs> Lil' Chris. Yeah, Lil' Chris tried to go inside yeah. my navel, <laughs> and they had to use, what do you call those things? A tweezers. Fluffer? No, not oh, tweezers. tweezers. Oh. <laughs> but close to things, uh, 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 clotheslines, they use on clotheslines. Like clothespin. Clothespins, yeah. She had to use a clothespin huh? on my Janssen to make it stand up straight so he could stick the thing in oh, there and put it down in there. My no. Gosh. And guess what? Guess what? I was so shrunk <laughs> that it was almost too big. The clothespin itself. That's how inside myself I went. I was scared to death. And then you know what? I should have been more scared. It was worse than I thought it was going to be, if that's possible. Oh my You God. have to do this, right? Like you can't just that can't be your your do not resuscitate type thing. Like you can't just <laughs> Your living will. I don't yeah. want to do any of this. Yeah, I don't no, care. Me neither. Yeah. I'll just I'm die, good. Bro. Just yeah. ask to get put under. Just pay the yeah. extra. Can you it do must, that? Must think about this. One last uh, wrinkle before we My move on. Goodness. Ugh. As you know, I have a tendency to black out. Yeah, or you pass, pass out. out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so most of the time, completely involuntary. <laughs> almost always involuntary. So I told this I'm gal when she took when she says story. it's pain, it's pressure. I told the nurse who was uh, at the side of the table. I go, look, I have a really strong tendency to, to black out. And this little uh, operating table was pretty thin. I'm like, I'm going to fall off this freaking table if I black out. So I tell her that. Well, as soon as the cam goes in, and it's the worst pain I've ever experienced. Where's the paper clip at this point? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> um, I grabbed her hand because I started blacking out. And I told her, I'm blacking out. I'm like, do not let me fall off this table with a camera shoved up. Oh my God! That. Oh, oh my golly, God! So I'm, I went uh, black. I never lost consciousness, but I went completely out. <laughs> and, as I'm holding onto her hand, some random gal's hand going, "Don't let me fall off this table." Yeah, the worst. And I must say it again. God, I peed everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere in the office. They burned the building to the ground after I left there. I'm sure it happens all the time. I couldn't like stop. a loose fire hose. I couldn't stop. I tried. I tried to stop it. I could not. Dude. God, that was a terrible day. Oh, man. Just terrible.
But if you're going in for the, it's no big deal. If you're going in today for your uh, procedure, it's uh, cool. You'll be all right. Nope. Prepare to have the worst day of your <laughs> life. It's the worst. I'm just yeah. telling you right now, I got an Innie instead of an Audi just from the stewards. Oh. Well, let me yes. tell you about Ooh. the size of my urethra when he was done. <laughs> I don't want a penis anymore. <laughs> well, that's a big change. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, you have another you're, not, you're not supposed to say that until Friday. <laughs> oh. uh, a new study ranked the five most overrated tourist attractions in America. That doctor's office. <laughs> uh, Lombard Street in San Francisco is number five. Yeah, agreed. that's the one that goes back and forth. Yep. Yeah, it's a, yeah, I, it's, it's a pain cool, in the ass to walk. Up our generation yeah. fell in love with that with the uh, San Francisco Real World, which was season oh, three. I thought you were going to say uh, um, a Mrs. Duke fire. Oh, that probably too. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Anyway, I, I've seen it. It's. It's fine. You, but you're like, what do I do with this? Yeah, yeah. Right. There's a road the that goes back and forth. Right? And you could actually just drive up there. Yeah. But no, we had it just to walk. Takes forever. Yeah. Uh, Times Square is number four. I I think it's one of those, it's awesome the first time. It probably gets a little bit old, and I know the uh, locals don't care, but Times Square, the first time you see it, I love it. I think it's awesome, too. Yeah, you feel like you're in a movie. A hundred percent agree. It's so cool. Super cool. I absolutely loved it. Uh, Plymouth Rock, number three. Never been there. Never seen it. I mean, it is just a rock, but I don't know. have a sign on it? Do you have a few of those outside your house? (laughs) No, I do not. I see what you did there. If it had a plaque, my wife would read it. Oh, because he's from Plymouth. Got it. That's clever. Uh, This is the one that's just completely stupid. Number two is Las Vegas. Overrated? Yep. It says says everything is overpriced and you have to deal with a lot of drunk people. If you love it, just keep going. But if gambling and nightlife aren't your thing, then you're not missing a lot. Well, what if gambling is my entire identity? Well, and here's the thing. I mean, regardless of whether you like gambling, whether or not you think it's overpriced, it's something you got to see. 100%. I mean, there's oh, nothing sure. yeah. like in the, the world. Yeah. Show. And if you hate gambling, it still has everything, everything. else you want, right? Yeah. Shows, restaurants, Museums. shopping. It's awesome. I mean, not the like lights, great museums, but you get it. People watching, it's sick. The people yeah. bridge that I had to cross over by eight times sure. because I couldn't find how to get to Planet Hollywood. That and you were right. smashed. And you were drunk. Oh. And you thought you were with Glenn Taylor. You kept saying, Glenn, get off my scooter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number one on this list. You dump my hog. Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mount Rushmore. It, I I I love that whole area, mm-hmm. and you've been there, Corey. You're I surrounded have, yeah. by beauty, so yeah. I, I you got to see it though. I think you like. I think it's yeah. cool because think you're surrounded by beauty. The tricky thing about Mount Rushmore is it's a little bit like I just said with um um with Lombard Street. Yeah. Is you get there and you're like, oh, cool. There's Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Mm, now, now what do I do? Yeah, right, right. So right. you drove all the way there. Take a picture and the build up go. in your head is like this is going to be spectacular. It is super cool for about a minute. Yeah, yeah. And then you look around, going, "All right, we got our pictures. Yeah, there it is. Am I just supposed to sit here and stare at it for another hour? And what am I supposed to do? The museum, and you, for whatever reason, like I guess I'll read up on this. Yeah. And now you have details that you can share with no one because no one gives a rat's yeah. ass. And, or just Google it if you care. Right. Yeah, and again, you, you shouldn't be going there just to see that anyway. There's so much other stuff. Oh yeah, right. for sure. So, yep. Yeah. Agreed. Um, now my kids still to this day say that that was the best trip we've ever taken. Is going out to hmm. the Black Hills. Even over Walt well, Disney World, yeah, or anything uh, else I would, done. That's my spot, man. Yeah, that's my spot. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just play this for you right now. Hold on one second. Uh, Thank you, Sioux Falls. <laughs> it's not quite uh, uh, there, but you get it. Yeah, it's in the same state. Thank you. It's in the Dakotas. It is. Uh, the New York Post is warning people about apple juiceification. Mm. Apple what the hell is that? <laughs> is um, that? The juice is loose? <laughs> <laughs> Almost just spit on my coffee. <laughs> Thank you. They are finding that many specialty juices are mostly just apple juice. But, really? Hmm? So maybe it's you know 95% apple juice, then they just put a splash of whatever flavor they're selling. Maybe they're saying that's what's oh, happening. Okay, got it. Uh, the juice is loose. The juice is loose. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yeah, I missed my, him. I know. I, I'm going to play it. Uh, now now it's almost like he's not here. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, um, um, really? No kidding. That kind of makes sense because it's real cheap to produce apples. It's like a, like corn, right? You use corn and everything. Now. Sure. I don't know, I guess. Uh, interesting. So they're not using cranberry at all? It's, it's, yeah, it's hard to make cranberry, boy. You got uh, to Wisconsin. <laughs> it's hard. You ever have hip waiters on? You got hip waiters on? You ever had it? You been in a box? He sounded like an old-timey cranberry magnet. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't easy to make cranberry, boy. 
Thank you, Ocean Spray. Uh, journalists have been told to stop stealing from Air Force One. Stuff like branded pillowcases, glasses, and gold-rimmed plates. Wow. What's the last stealing thing you souvenirs. Stole? What was the last thing you stole, like from like a hotel or like a you know ashtray, or maybe you're at a bar and decided to take the glass because you thought it was funny? I, I took a glass at Pepper Mill. Oh, did of course, you? a did. big hurricane glass. Oh, thing, did yeah. you really? Or scorpion? Yeah, I don't think you did that on purpose, right? No, I did was. Did you just crotch that? Is it get out of there? I what? was very drunk. I didn't know what yeah. you're supposed to do with it, so I just took it. Yeah, I just took it. I remember <laughs> you telling me that. Yeah, it's well documented, <laughs> and I've admitted this on the air, Mus. Uh, the first year or two of Harper's life, my wife and I accidentally stole from Target constantly. Because when you're worrying about the baby, oh yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever we would put under the cart, I bet. Once every two weeks, we forgot to scan it or forgot to tell the cashier it was. And the it. alarm didn't go off. No, because it would be like, uh, you know, the diet coke or diapers right, right. or something. Right. It was just it was whatever was under there. We we're like, did we pay for this? Nope. We stole from Target constantly the first two years of our life. You do have a heist team. That was the beginning of it. Uh, we're back tomorrow, five thirty to nine. Nine to noon is next. Thanks for checking out the power trip on the fan. Everybody have a wonderful day. You too, Abadabo.